Welcome back, guys, to Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice, where last episode we examined the crime scene and found Rafer within, who now joins us to make sure we're not up to any of our loyally shenanigans after speaking to Emma again and a mysterious weirdo guy. A bit shaggy he was, a bit shaggy indeed. We now can move on to the detention center to finally speak to Maya again. However, there is, there is possibility for us to examine more here first, because of course we've left the scene and come back to the scene. I'm not sure that's exactly needed, we just want to move on, don't we? But why not examine again? Just this guy. They're still praying? Now that's really something. It's called their absolute devotion to Lady Kira. But you don't have to pray to her, your benevolence. Our custom dictates that I must never associate myself with Lady Kira in any way. Instead, it is my duty to offer my prayers and dance to the Holy Mother every day. Why don't you try offering up a dance or two? I think you'll find it quite uplifting. N no thanks, I'm good. Just <laughs> extremely anti-dancing. Now that's the person I was trying to click on, because of course now with Rafer around, we get a bit more, well, a different viewpoint on things, don't we? Acolyte Zilla is still focused on his prayers. Is not such devotion worthy of commendation? Still, he has not yet learned of the High Priest's death. When I think of how he will learn of it once his prayers are over. Yeah, it does seem cruel, doesn't it? How can you not realise all the police are like going in and out? It's interesting seeing Rafer's perspective on things, to be perfectly fair. We get to learn a bit more. I think I would witness a lawyer being allowed to pass through this sacred gate. Yeah, well, I wouldn't unless I had to. Those stairs were brutal to climb. And no handrails with wind. What's this? Do you even know how many monks would give their lives to pass through that gate? Be thankful for the great honor you have been afforded. Y yes, your benevolence. Yes, yes, ma'am. What about the prayer things? Can she tell us more about them? I'll be said that these are called prayer flags, and the prayers written on them are carried throughout the kingdom by the wind. Now, if I were to pray for something, it would be for me to not get dragged into any more trouble than I already have been. Never gonna happen, Phoenix. Never gonna happen. This is your life. Stop having friends, they always get <laughs> so for You're a murderer, you're a murderer. No, we're not! Oh, now I have to defend it again. This is what happens every time as we move to the detention center. Kind of the same layout. Bars that you can possibly fit through. Though I'm guessing you'd be stopped if you tried. Very rustic. Nick, I knew you'd come. Maya. She sure looks tired. How are you holding up? It wasn't me, but no one will believe me. Uh, I have to admit, I'm still a bit in shock. Who'd have thought you'd get caught up in something like this? It's so far from home. But I'm going to defend you, so hang in there. We can do this if we work together. That's many dots. Uh, this is all my fault. I mean, you came to Kauai'in just to visit me. We hadn't seen each other in ages, and then this happens. I haven't seen her this down in ages either. Come on, remember who you're talking to. Besides, I thought you'd be used to being the usual suspect by now. <laughs> I guess you're right. And you've saved me each and every time. Yep, so just tell me everything you can and let's go from there. Barbed Head, stop stalling and go straight to the matter of true import. We know she is the murderer, therefore it is time for her confession. Y your benevolence! What brings the royal priestess to a place like this? I am watching over this lawyer to keep him from tampering with anything in this case. Now, out with it! Confess your crime! P please, your benevolence, could you please take it down a notch or free? Hm. Maya, please tell me what you can. I know this must be difficult, but anything you can remember might help. Sh sure. Okay. Right. Time to talk. Let's get that confession. Oh, wait, wait a second. We're not working for the Koreanese government. I didn't kill the high priest. I wouldn't even dream of it. I mean, he always treated me so well. Abbot in me was an important figure with a ton of duties, including training acolytes. He was really kind, even to a foreigner like me. He even invited me over to his house whenever I was between training sessions. How can I ever kill someone like that? He sounds like a really good person. I think I would have liked him. It was so much fun. I got to enjoy meals with his family and everything. And his wife was a master of Koreanese cuisine. I 
I've never eaten better in my life. I thought they were a family, and home away from home in this foreign land. They must have been a source of comfort, what with being here for training all alone. But... But what? I can't completely deny the charge either. Huh? As I suspected, the snake has shown her true colours at last. Your benevolence, please. I'm trying to figure out what really happened here. Hmm. Hmm. So what do you mean you can't completely deny the charge? Well, during the purification rite, I suddenly got really, really sleepy. The next thing I knew, Abbot in me was, you know, you suddenly got sleepy. So then, you didn't actually see the High Priest get murdered. No, I didn't, but... If I was possessed by some crazy spirit while I was asleep, then... What an excuse. How dare you pin your crime on another person's soul? Uh... Hmm. Be honest. What you call training is but an extended vacation in reality. And that training here is simply for prestige. N no, it's not like that at all. Tell us more about your training then. Because we know spirits can do bad things. I'm training to become the master of the Crane Channeling Technique. Hmm. A neophyte practitioner such as you become a channeling master? I think not. The spiritual power required is beyond the means of an outsider like you. Rafer seems to really hate fakers. But Maya does actually have the power to channel spirits. I should let Rafer know. Your benevolence. I wouldn't call Maya a neophyte because she can already chat. Ah, ah, wait, 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 Nick. What? Um, can I talk to you for a second? Why is she whispering all of a sudden? I want to keep my spirit channeling ability a secret while I'm here, Nick. What? Why? I'll, um, explain later. Just keep it a secret for now, okay? If you say so. What's that all about? What is all that whispering about over there? Oh, it's nothing really. I'll have to ask about this later when Princess Rafer's not around. Oh, I almost forgot. Nick. Yeah? About Abbott and Me's murder, there was something I noticed that I thought strange. Oh, tell me more. As training becomes what you noticed. So, what was it you noticed? Well, you probably won't believe me, but... Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Okay, so you know that spring? The spring? You mean the pool in front of the war bath statue? Yes, that. The water in there was dark red. And when I say dark red, I mean blood red. Oh, that. Yeah, I saw it too. You did? Yeah, the high priest's blood turned it red. What? No, that's not what I meant. The spring was red before he was killed. Wh what? Wait, so it was already red, even before the High Priest was killed? Yeah, I noticed it during the purification rite, just before I passed out. It's just like the ancient legend says. What ancient legend? The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return. And that's how it goes, anyway. Hold on. Yes, there is a legend about the Inner Sanctum that says just that. But the water runs red this time thanks to the murder. The police investigation confirmed it. Perhaps your eyes were deceived by the lantern light reflecting off of the water. I... I don't think that was it, though. An ancient legend, huh? I wonder if it's connected to this murder somehow. My statement has been added to the court record. It's a statement that they'd throw out, though, wouldn't they? Um, Nick? Yes? So, uh... Actually, there's one more thing. What's up with Maya? She keeps looking over at her benevolence like she's worried what Rafer will think. Maya, 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 Maya. One more thing. One more thing! There's... There's something I want to show you. There is. I found this at the Inner Sanctum after I came to. Wait, you took it? Is this a letter? 
It's in Kuranese. See that stamp on the far left at the end of the letter? Does it look familiar? This red stamp here. That's the mark of Lady Kira. Oh right, it looks just like the mark on her forehead. L Lady Kira, you say? Let me see that. Wh why? This is... What? What does it say? Do not perform the right. I know what you are planning, Lady Kira. That sounds like a threat or a warning. Whoever's pretending to be Lady Kira was pressuring the High Priest to stop the right. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, too. Nick, do you think... Wait, 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 wait. First, there's that ancient legend. The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return. Now, there's also Lady Kira's warning. Plus, with the Warbad Dagger being eyed as the murder weapon. D don't tell me. That's why she has to be the real deal. It gives me chills just thinking about it. I bet Lady Kira's spirit possessed a sacred robe or something. Don't tell me. You actually believe that the real Lady Kira returned to kill the High Priest? Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? Historical figures don't come back to life. I mean, give me a break. But, 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 but. You were saying only yesterday how it was more fun to believe that she's the real deal. Yeah, yesterday. I wish I could keep on entertaining that fancy too. But the fact is, we're dealing with a murder here. Thus, my days of dreaming have come to an end. I'm going to keep it real from now on. And you should too, Nick. I thought you said that I was the boring one because I was keeping it real. Sorry, I guess I've outgrown that stepladder argument we always have. I think you mean ladder, Maya. <laughs> yes, stepladder, ladder, whatever. No fight with me again, like the old days. What about keeping it real then? Don't grow up. <gasps> Don't grow up. So, what do you mean by keeping it real? Oh, um... So you know how someone is dressing up like Lady Kira and capturing rebels, right? Oh, do you mean the rebel hunter Lady Kira in the papers? Yeah, that one. I think that's who probably sent this warning. What nonsense is this? You dare suggest that Abbot Immy was slain by Lady Kira? You... You... Nincompoop! Huh? Ah! The rebel hunter is sure to be a vigilante who loves this kingdom. And it is that patriotism that led them to cloak their identity in the guise of Lady Kira. Such a patriot would never slay the High Priest. I guess it's only natural for Princess Rightford to see it that way, but I can't let it go of that. Besides, why would such a vigilante want to stop the purification right in the first place? I haven't figured that one out yet. I rest my case. Still, if this rebel hunter had a compelling enough reason, they might have killed the High Priest after he ignored their warning. You, you big dummy, you can't fool me. It was you who forged that warning letter. You were trying to shed your guilt onto our most sacred Lady Kira. Admit it. N no, I never do such a thing. Now, now, your benevolence. Let's try to remain rational about this. Ah. Maya, did you show that letter to the police? Um, no. I was afraid that it would anger everybody needlessly. So I was waiting to show it to you, Nick. And judging by Benevolence's reaction, I'd say Maya was right to be worried. Huh? Wait. What are... There are a number of places on this letter where there are three holes in a row. Are these supposed to be some sort of a message too? Not that we'll be finding out anytime soon, I suspect. Lady Kira's warning has been added to the court record. Alright, accused, wrap it up. I guess they have more questions for me. Yeah, at least I have a better idea of what we're up against now. Um, Nick, there's something I've been meaning to say. I don't need a lawyer this time. What are you talking about? It's just, you know they have that defense culpability act here in Korean, right? Well, if I'm found guilty, you'll be charged with abetting a criminal. Maya. Maya. Thanks for thinking of me, but... 
Don't worry, Mayor. We'll pull through this together, somehow. We always have, haven't we? Yeah. But we're not in Kansas anymore, you know. True, but I've been through one trial here already. So I know what I'm getting myself into. We're going to win this one, no matter what. Because I believe in your innocence, but we'll never get your name correct. Yeah, I know. We've always won because of your faith in me. That's right. So it's all aboard the Phoenix Freedom Express! Thank you, Nick. Well, I'll see you later. Bravado will not save you tomorrow, and by then it will be too late to ask for mercy. We're gonna beat this charge. You'll see. Hm. I don't care to understand every single word that was spoken. But I don't like the sound of that Phoenix Freedom Express one bit. Wait. Don't tell me you don't know what Freedom Express refers to. <laughs> ah! Of course I know. Do not presume to know what I do not know. I'm no closer to understanding why someone would want the High Priest dead. But, given the use of the Warbad Dagger and the existence of the Warning Letter, I'd say the Rebel Hunter disguised as Lady Kira is the Peril Prime Suspect. It might help if I knew a little more about this modern day Lady Kira. I wonder if anybody has any info on them. Hmm, maybe the first thing I should do is to go someplace where locals like to gather. Right then, well, you gonna give me any ideas this time? That woman you call Maya Fey is not to be trusted. I hear she is already 28, and yet she is still as antsy as a maiden in her teens. Surely she must be hiding something. Actually, that's just her being her. Ha, notice me dodging? Dodging well. So, what next? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. D dare I ask? Admit the accused's guilt so we can go straight to the inevitable guilty verdict. That will solve everything. Why did I even ask? I think I'll just keep on investigating. Are we ever going to be friends? I need to get you on to Team Phoenix Freedom Express. Let's go to the bazaar, it seems. So what are we doing? Just questioning random people? I guess the bazaar is as good a place to start as any. Now, who should I... Hmm. Hmm, I see. So that is what a Freedom Express is. Consulting her pocket internet again, I see. Mr. Wright! That sounds like... It's Albie! Is Miss Maya okay? I believe her, Mr. Wright. I know she didn't do it. Do you now, boy? Paul the Conquer! You, you, your benevolence! You mustn't trust in lawyers, you. Hmm? Are you not the accused from the last trial? Oh, um, um... What's wrong, Albie? Your, your, your... Your benevolence speaks with the, um... You may speak in the vernacular, little monk. Now... What is your name? Y yes, Your Benevolence. I'll be your guide, Your Benevolence. I say, your guide. Know this, Albie. Your soul is only as clean or filthy as the company you keep. I wish you'd stop insinuating that all lawyers are trash. Please, forgive me, Your Benevolence. But Mr. Wright is a very trustworthy man. A and I trust him as a lawyer. What's this? I I'm sorry. F forgive my insolence. Uh, if a common boy such as he can place his trust in lawyers, it could only be because of my failure at the Hall of Justice the other day. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Wright, her benevolence has sunk into the ground. She must really feel responsible for what happened in court that day. Let's give her some breathing room for now. I'm sure she'll be back on her feet in no time. In the meantime, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Of course not. I'm always glad to help. Well then, Albie, give me all the info you can. 
So what have you heard about the rebel hunter that was in the newspaper? Everyone's overjoyed at her appearance. They say she's the modern day Lady Kira. So they're treating this rebel hunter like a mysterious protector of the people, huh? People have been on edge recently, what with that jailbreak and stuff. I sure hope they catch that escaped prisoner soon. Escaped prisoner? Yes, he was one of the vicious rebels that Lady Kira had captured. So there's a hardened criminal on the loose. That is bad news. Yes, but the modern day Lady Kira is also super amazing. I mean, she takes down big scary rebels all by herself. Yeah, it's not exactly something just anyone can do. Someone that strong could have easily overpowered and killed the High Priest. Hmm, and what about that escaped prisoner, Albie? Tell me more. So, what's the escaped prisoner supposed to be like? They say he's a vicious fiend who serves as Dirk's right-hand man. Dirk, as in the leader of that rebel group. Yes, the escape he serves that dreadful master of the defiant dragons. They say the prisoner's a former soldier and that he wields a big scary knife. Rumor has it he's a cold-blooded killer to boot. He sounds like a really dangerous man. He is, but the police still can't find him, even after an exhaustive search. Wait, I remember hearing about a prison. At the very top of the mountain. There is a prison at the apex of this mountain. A prison? Way up there? A prison is at the top of the Inner Sanctum's mountain, right? How did he even break out? No one really knows. He supposedly did it without any tools to speak of, too. Some say he must have fallen to his death. Personally, I'd like to believe he did. Otherwise, something like that terrible incident might happen again. Terrible incident? Right, what terrible incident, then? Give us more background. What's that about a terrible incident, Albie? It happened before I was even born, but Queen Amara, the previous queen, was assassinated. And it was the rebel leader Dirk who did it. The previous queen was assassinated? That's kind of unsettling. Oh, it was a terrible deed of a heinous sinner. I mean, to take the life of such a gentle queen. Only someone with a dark, defiled soul could have done that. They really take their queen seriously here. Like, god-worshipping level serious. It really would take someone pretty bold and blasphemous to assassinate one. Those defiant dragon rebels are not afraid to do anything to accomplish their goals. That's why, with that escaped prisoner on the loose, who knows who might have been killed next? So that's why the people of Kulayin are so afraid of that escapee. And why they want the rebel hunters to take him out along with the other rebels. So, is there anything else you can tell me about the Rebel Hunter Lady Kiela, Albie? Um, I was just thinking there was something else, but what was it? Oh yeah! Here! What is it? Shadow found it! Why, that's the Warband Arrow! Feeling better now, your benevolence? This is no time to be feeling sorry for myself, for I am the Crown Princess of Karain! Now, let me see that boy. Y yes, your benevolence. Hmm. It looks very much like one of the legendary weapons Lady Kira once used in battle. A free pronged arrow. I can swear I've seen something resembling that arrowhead recently. Hmm. Where did Shadu find it, Albie? Near Abbot Inmi's house. Near the victim's house, huh? Something tells me I'd better look into this. The war by Ad arrow has been added to the court record. Once used by Lady Kira, discovered near the High Priest's home. Albie, can I ask you to take me to the High Priest's house? Yes, of course! Kind of thing of it, he was married, wasn't he? And his wife is the one who usually plays the part of Lady Kira in the purification rite. I should probably talk to her too. Alright then, let's move on a little bit, but maybe I want to examine the bed. Allow me to explain. This bird is known as a warbird. It's only found here in Kolain. Alright, the bird Lady Kira based herself on. It's a really beautiful bird. Taurus must love it. They usually do. There's just one thing about it that's kind of hit or miss. Its unusual cry drives children to tears. It can even make some adults collapse in fear. Maybe they should keep such a fearsome creature in a less crowded area. So it's just crying away and then like loads of people are fearful and legging it. Check out all the animals! The 
Meow me. What's this cow-like animal? It's a yak. They carry heavy loads and provide milk. They're indispensable partners in our daily lives. Interesting. Hey, they're kind of cute up close. Oh, and they are also prized for their meat. You know, the meat you enjoyed so much last night? Oh, partner must mean something else here. No, I eat my partners too. <laughs> Alright then, let's move on. From my cannibalistic ways to the high priest's house. So this is where the High Priest lived. Wait a minute, this is where they brought me when my back gave out. And the woman in front of that altar, she must be the High Priest's wife. Well, I'm examining first and foremost. Ooh, that looks very interesting, we know what it wants me to examine. Excuse me. Yes, may I help you? I was hoping to speak with the High Priest's wife. Are you she? Please forgive the intrusion, Lady Believe. Oh my, y your benevolence. Please, be at ease. What a terrible time this must be for you. I owe much to your husband. You have my deepest sympathies for your tragic loss. You honour me with your kind words. Look, dear. The royal priestess has come to visit us. Yes, mm-hmm. What's that? Oh, of course. Haha. <laughs> she's talking with his funeral picture? My husband, too, is delighted that the royal priestess has graced us with her presence. You, you can speak with Abbot in me? No, I don't possess the power to speak with the dead, but I can feel his presence. What's that? No, that can wait till later, dear. She's definitely speaking with him. So your benevolence, what is it that brings you to my humble abode? This lawyer is investigating your husband's death, and I am watching him to ensure he does not tamper with any of the evidence. I know this must be difficult, but could I ask you some questions? A good friend of mine has fallen under suspicion, you see. A friend of yours? So then, you must be Maya's friend from the States, correct? That's right. I'm sorry, but I'm still grieving. Isn't that right, dear? Yes, I know. Abbot Inmi and his wife were one of the closest and most loving couples in Kurayin. If she is not ready to talk, I will not allow you to press her any further. She did just lose the love of her life. It would be incredibly insensitive of me to force answers out of her right now. But I need to talk to her if I want to learn more about the High Priest. Plus, there's the Warbad Arrow that Albie found near the house. There's too much I need to find out for me to leave just yet. Um, would it be okay if I stayed here for a little while? Barbedhead, have you not been listening to a word I said? Look, your benevolence, I'm sorry for a loss, but I'm running out of time. So what will I will do is promise to leave if she doesn't change her mind. Please, let me talk to my husband about this. Yes, mm-hmm, I know. No, don't. Not in front of the royal priestess. Now, if you would excuse me... What the heck were they even talking about? You have but poured salt on her wounds. This is precisely why you lawyers are so despised. Ugh. I was just trying to help Maya's case. I didn't mean to hurt Miss Inmi. Could it be that you actually possess a conscience? Of course I do. But I'm also desperate for information. So, what do you plan to do now? Pass the time by looking around the room, I guess, and see if she changes her mind. Just see that you do not touch anything you should not. Guess I should watch what I touch then. Just in case Princess Rafer gets mad at me. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here that's going to be very interesting to examine at this point in time. Pictures, both on wall and table. Everything else about the room, that bag maybe, stands out. But we will get to that next time here on Phoenix Wright's Spirit of Justice. As we examine, we investigate more. And hope, 
hope to see our best friend soon. I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.